Okay, welcome back and this is AMBR and this is about sight and just explaining about sight and how it works and how worth it yes how it works and how we're thinking about how our vision is or we see something outside and we think that we're seeing it from our eye point of view so when we're looking out there it is that's what we see but that's not correct and for this we get a confusion of looking at external forces and adapting feeling towards them and then bringing it in towards us to feel towards that in that certain way where we could feel negative or positive having a perception but that's not exactly what happens what happens is when your eyes lock on to something or looking at something your eyes don't see the physical things that you see as in camera in front of me, as a person, as a house, as walls, as butterflies, trees, fields, grass, the wood. Your eyes don't see things in that way. Your eyes see vibrational frequencies and pick that up and send them signals to the brain. And in return, it sends back a picture to you in your mind. And then you visualize that. But your eyes don't actually see the picture. And it's the same with all your senses. You don't smell something that comes from within. You don't hear something that comes from within. You don't taste something that comes from within. there was a forest full of trees and it was out on its own and the tree fell would it make a noise if there was nothing else around would it make a noise and I'm telling you it wouldn't because no one would be there to hear it it'd have no noise the noise comes from within you and how you perceive that what it would do is send out a vibrational field of our frequency, whatever way you want to look at it, in the motion that it took to fall. And hopefully you can understand this, that by using your senses, we're using it to, for external forces to sense things in a vibrational field or frequency. But the outcome comes from within, not out here. It all comes from within you and how you, you perceive it by building up using your senses, how you, you see it. But you don't really see it that way. That's how the mind puts all the pictures that you put together through that vibration of frequency and sends it back into your mind in a vision of a physical thing or an object. Um, I just thought I'd explain this a wee bit more on the sight side of things, but it's not just your sight, it's all your senses. It's you. So maybe you can get that more of an understanding of all that you see is out there, is actually in here, within you. You can't sense none of that if you didn't have that inner feeling where it all comes from through your all your senses. I'm just gonna go through them there, but why bother? You know what your senses are. It's just about being aware of them and how you feel on external forces, how you're feeling about them pictures that you have there. And once you start changing and being aware of them feelings, then pictures on the outside start to change. The external forces change because you've changed how you've looked at it from the inside. Being aware of oneself rather than of all that is external. Hopefully this gives you a wee bit of more insight into all that's around you and all that's within you that we are the one 
We are the wall. It, everything is a wholeness. And we are part of that. And hopefully, as I say, this gives you more of an insight in how to look at things and don't think that everything that's around us is in that way because that's how it was put there or to understand that that's how we put ourselves here in this situation and how we've thought and felt towards things by using our senses and by using them it ends up it it leaves us where we are sitting right here right now and how we view things just the same way that you've learned all of other people and your beliefs but they're not really your beliefs they're past beliefs of ancestors through families and families and families of the earth that you pick up on and it's went down through the generations of beliefs now everything's not going to be exactly the same because you've got a perception of your own using your own senses but what you're believing if then is to be true and why would you question your mother or your father or your best friend or someone that you looked up to why would you question that you see we get confused in the bonding and then start believing people's word or we're full time passing on messages, like Chinese messages, that we're half-hearted felt about, where we believe it may be true, but we don't actually know. We just believed in the source. So we roll with it. And this is what happens in life in general with most people. We don't make the effort to suss it out, to work it out. Uh, it's enough to know. And for the likes of myself, and I'm sure there's others out there, like to see how that process works to understand it. Because you don't truly understand anything if you're just looking at the start and end. How, how did you get there? Like, it's the journey, the whole process that makes it. It's like a storybook. If you just looked at the front, looked at the back, you don't know the story. You have to read through it. So, as I say, hopefully this gives you more of an insight to everything and how to look at things and understand, or more so open up that awareness of oneself and understand that the power all that you see and sense that are around you in your life is all guided by within how you're thinking and feeling within yourself. So if you're not happy there where you are right now, you need to think about what way you're going to change that and how you're going to think. What you're going to think about that is in a positive way that you love, that makes you feel great inside. And then you follow that and you keep following that until you change from where you're sitting right now to where you want to be. And it is hard work because it's like going to the gym, working out over and over again. You get drained and you get fed up after a bit. And you might take a day or two off or something like that, I don't know, whatever. But then to get back into it, it can be hard. And sometimes people just give up. And then going to the gym was pointless because they didn't go long enough. It became too hard for them. Where if they had to just push by that extra step, they would have increased their belief in the habit by, or by making a, a habit, which is a belief. And when they'd done that, they would do this in general anyway. They'd be able to take them days out, them breaks, and go back to that more ease. The more it happens. And also, if you do this with the mind, you're, you're doing the exact same thing. It's like a muscle. Um, it's growing and you need to train it. And the more you train it, the more it will grow. And there will be setbacks. But you have to understand that the setback is a teaching. And you have to search for the positive to move forward. 
in another way, just don't look at the setback as a setback. Just think, oh, well, that was supposed to be there. Now, how to get on, keep going on with what I was doing, and you move forward in another way. Because there's more than one way to do anything. You've got to understand that there's multiple ways to do anything. It's just finding them. Like, nothing's impossible. One time, like, it would have been thought it was impossible to fly. And look at the amount of airplanes that's up in the air these days. It's unreal. And uh, to telephone someone across the world. And if you told this to people, like, back years ago, You'd have probably been locked up for it, for having these thoughts, which is ridiculous. It just shows the power that is there of circumstances um, fitting in. Uh, how ridiculous it is that by fitting in holds the power to how the world is revolving and how you and I are feeling. Letting that happen. Well, they say you and I, I don't know if you do, and I don't, I did do, but not now. I understand how everything is functioning and how society is made in that way to take you away from who you truly are. And now this isn't what I'm going to say here isn't. Um, I haven't got enough uh, research done on this to say that I know for fact. So I can't say this is fact now when I'm going to tell you. But in the leaders and the controllers of the, this world, this was made in this way because it was looked at as civilization was destroying the planet and if there wasn't any order put in there then it would have been destroyed which is a load of B um, because the world would keep going on and has kept going on many a year before we even came along and we'll keep going on when we are extinct but this order um, politically um, group of well organized political group of people have it in this way for order because that's how they see things and it would have caused devastation to the human race they've seen it so in the positive side this is why they've done it in this matter and we can argue and disagree about governments and orders of all different types and everything's all just a perception it is what it is and if this happened it happened if it didn't it didn't but on every note that we're living today it just backs up everything that I've just said um, and through my research uh, I don't know if you know but it's like I don't want to go too deep into it because I'm not, I don't want to be attacking them because it's pointless uh, and I don't want any of that. All I want to do is have your awareness of everything that has happened so you can move forward on the positive side of things and not be bothered by this. The likes of police, courts and stuff like that. All is set in place for a reason to have you in control. Just like everything that's going on now, like with the coronavirus and everything, and I feel. Um, but as I say, that is only my perception. Uh, well, you could say it was my perception through my ego. Um, I wouldn't say it was my ego at all. Um, that's just personally speaking, because of the research that I've done and seen and everything that's happening, it just fits in place like a jigsaw.
end, when something's fitting in place, it's there for a reason. Just the same way as what has happened, in my point of view, uh, from this political, organised political group, has happened for a reason. Everything in the world, in the universe, is there for us to learn from where we have that perception of it being good or bad. It's irrelevant. Uh, what we've got to understand is to learn from it and to have that understanding of it that everything is different and looked upon different through different people, through their perceptions, by using our senses, by looking out but actually looking within you and sometimes when people do that you're looking for the ego and the ego is the chaser we are chasing all the time to find that happiness within you so we might find it with sugar or sweets or something and once you've had them you want that more sugar to keep that feeling going um, or fatty foods or crisps or anything like that or even we get that addiction through exercises and stuff like that where we can overdo it just enjoying it too much and then just going on and on everything has a limit um, got to balance it out and um, you can't have too much of one thing because your body is too used to it and then once you go to change to find new ways of feeling that goodness within you your body doesn't want to do it your body wants to stick to what it's used to so you're always about to keep changing it up and that means in foods and things that you do things that you say but in a positive way say hopefully this opens up your awareness and gives you more of an insight to how to look at things and uh, not looking out but looking within and um, thank you for watching and this is my body reprogramming and if you like my videos please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the latest thank you again